pop quiz. If you're driving a car down the freeway at 70 miles an hour and you suddenly hit a fly and the fly just splatters on your windshield, my question is which of these two objects, the car or the fly, will feel more force upon that impact? Will it be A, the car feels more force? B, the fly will feel the greater force, or C, both the car and the fly will feel the same force. So those are your three options. Think about it, and then I'll explain the answer. So what's the answer? The answer is actually C. They will both feel the same force. Now, how could that possibly be? This car has way more mass than this fly does. This car is much bigger. This car is way more durable. Its windshield is made of more durable materials, and this fly's body is just a soft, squishy exoskeleton with guts inside. So how could they feel the exact same force upon impact? Well, it has to do with Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And when Isaac Newton says the word action, he's talking about force. So he's saying whenever there's a force, like this car pushing against this fly, there must be an equal and opposite force, like the fly pushing back against the car. But those two forces have to be equal. Although they are pushing in opposite directions, Newton's third law guarantees those are equal forces. So how is it that most people get this question wrong? Well, it's because they assume that the mass or the size or the durability has something to do with it, but it doesn't. Just because these two things are feeling the same force does not mean they're going to be affected by that force in the same way. So, for example, which of these two objects accelerates more? Well, definitely the fly. Because remember, acceleration is a change in your velocity. So the fly is going really slow, and all of a sudden it's going 70 miles per hour as a pile of guts on the windshield, but it had a very, very high acceleration from that force. The car was going 70 miles an hour before hitting the fly, and it's still going 70 after hitting the fly. So we can say the car didn't really accelerate at all. So even though they both felt the same force, they had very different accelerations. And finally, they both have very different durabilities, right? The wind windshield completely unharmed by this fly and the fly was basically obliterated by this force so they feel the same force they just react to that force in very different ways